inspired by nature and uh, myth. It's really the, the method that I use to come up with the designs is really, it stems from my subconscious. It's like a form of meditation or um, I like to think of it as self-hypnosis where basically one character leads into the next in a way that I don't really have to think very much about what I'm doing. I don't plan what I'm doing or draw it out beforehand at all because um, I, I can't really stay focused if I do it that way. It's all kind of in the spur of the moment and I kind of just learn to go with the flow as much as possible. I'm, uh, I'm Jason Borders. I'm from Kentucky. I'm living out here in Portland, Oregon, and I, I mostly carve skulls these days. worked in the same style since I was like I think about 15 but um, I didn't start working with bones until about three years ago and it was um, it was that I've, I've always collected bones I just find them really interesting and uh, I think it partly comes from the, my, the fact my both, both my parents are in the medical field I'm just always appreciated anatomy and, and scientific study I started collecting owl pellets when I was a little kid and taking them apart and saving all the bones and ever since then I've really never stopped collecting them and saving them and uh, for whatever reason and I just started using them for art about three years ago when uh, my wife's parents gave me a, a Dremel for Christmas and I was sitting in the basement and looking at some of the bones I had around and uh, just kind of got inspired and started doing it not having any idea what I was doing and filled my entire house up with bone dust and smoke and got like a sinus infection <laughs> and stuff but uh, I perfected the methods for doing it and learned a little bit about what I needed to do and haven't stopped since. Every bone is, you know, they're, they're not, they're similar but they're, each one has its own unique little picadillos and everything. They're, it kind of keeps things interesting having a different canvas each time. It's something to like, change and adapt to. Well, I, I get excited, you know, especially with different, with, with newer bones, with something I haven't worked with before, like, uh, like this muggy skull that I did. It's something totally new and um, I just find, my, I find myself getting entranced by something and, and time flies by in a way that I can't really describe. You know, sometimes I'll think it's been 45 minutes and it's been four hours. And um, so it's really not, it's not even something I really have to do anymore. I think when I was younger I used to really have to kind of intentionally, cognitively decide to go into that space and to, to uh, put 100% of my mind into it. But the more I've done it over years and years and years, it's very automatic how it happens. You know, I'm just kind of there once I'm there. And, you know, and sometimes I'm sitting inside on the couch and I'm there and I have to come out and work right away. So. Well, it's almost, for me, it's almost a nervous energy a lot of times. Sometimes it happens out of pure excitement and really positive enthusiasm, and sometimes it comes out of a need for escapism, just a need to relax and calm down. Um, and I, I've always got to be doing something with my hands, whether it's art or playing guitar or whatever else. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny. It sometimes comes from a very good place, sometimes not so much. <laughs> but either way, it's a good thing. It's a good end result.